Target 12 investigators with new details on a vaccine controversy from earlier this year. As we previously reported, Attorney General Peter Nerona launched an inquiry after it was revealed that several board members of the state's two biggest hospital groups received the vaccine in the first round of the rollout. They were given the shots even though the board members were not considered frontline health care workers. Target 12 investigator Tim White joining us live in studio now. Tim, Peter Nerona wrapped up uh, his look into this issue just today. So what is his office finding at this point? Well, Brian, Nerona says the Department of Health did not provide the hospitals with specific enough guidance on who should have received the vaccinations. And because of that, the AG says Lifespan and Care New England did not violate any policies or laws when they gave the vaccine to board members. Despite that, the attorney general wrote that the two hospital groups, quote, should have acted differently. And that's a stinging rebuke from the attorney general, who by law is also the state's health care advocate. Tim, I must admit, with everything that's happened since this controversy erupted, it's easy to forget what a big deal it was at the yeah. time because vaccines were just coming online. And Kim, that's at the heart of Nerona's criticism. In a letter to Lifespan and Care New England, the AG stressed that transparency, fairness, and equity are important when it comes to vaccine distribution. Put it another way, he argues this eroded the public's trust, sending a signal that the playing field is not level, even if no laws were broken. My colleague Anita Buffoni spoke to Nerona this afternoon. She'll have the latest details on 12 News at 5. Harsh words there. Tim, shifting yeah. gears a little bit now, an update tonight on Harvard University's assessment of how Rhode Island is doing with the vaccine rollout. People will likely recall Harvard gave Rhode Island an F yeah. back in early February. Certainly got a lot of people's attention then. Yeah, Brian, it was definitely not a report card your parents would hang on the refrigerator, but what a difference six weeks make. I asked Harvard researchers to take a look again, and as you're about to see, there has been dramatic improvement. The state now gets a B in its handling of vaccines, ranking the state in the top 10 in the country for vaccine distribution per capita and 11th in the nation for percentage of doses used. Rhode Island was slower than other states in the beginning because they were taking a targeted approach with at risk communities, but the pace has picked up considerably. Coming up on 12 News at 6, I bring the latest report card to Dr. James McDonald from the Department of Health, and he tells me, despite that good letter grade, he finds these types of examinations really unhelpful. A more refrigerator-worthy report card Indeed, this yes. time. Target 12 investigator Tim White, thank you. My pleasure.